Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate plus sodium chromate. So the first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. That's up here. To do that, I see that I have two of these nitrate ions here, but only one over here. Put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. That balances the nitrates. I have two sodiums, two sodiums. I have the chromate ion here and here, and then magnesium and magnesium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now the net ionic equation. We need to write the state for each substance, and that'll look like this. When we look at the states here, they're all aqueous. That means that this is going to all dissolve. Each one of these will dissolve and split apart into its ions. If we wrote those out, that would give us the complete ionic equation. It would look like this. So now when we cross out the spectator ions, we have our reactants and our products. So I have magnesium, the magnesium ion here and here. Those are spectator ions. Cross those out. Two nitrates here in the products. Two nitrates, spectator ions. Two sodium ions. Again, two sodium ions. Finally, the chromate ion right here in the reactants and the products. So you can see everything's crossed out. That means that nothing has really changed. All of these ions are present in the beginning here and they're present in the end. So there's no reaction for this equation. And here's the problem. Sometimes teachers will say that MgCrO4 is not aqueous, but rather it's insoluble or only slightly soluble. So they call it a solid. And that changes things a lot. Now we do have a reaction because we have a solid that's going to be a precipitate and fall to the bottom of the test tube. In that case, here's what we do. In net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. So we need to put the Mg2 plus and the CrO4 2 minus back together into a solid compound. Now we can cross our spectator ions out like this, and we're left with the net ionic equation. So I'll clean this up and write the states, and we'll take a look at that. So if we treat this as a solid, this is the net ionic equation we come up with. From what I can tell, this should be aqueous. But if your teacher says it's a solid, this is what you want to go with. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for MgNO32 plus Na2CrO4. Thanks for watching.